Hi, my name is Carlo Zakarian with NetFocus Technologies. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can install EagleSoft version 16 on Mac OS X Mavericks. I'm going to assume that you've already purchased a uh, virtual machine software like Parallels and you've already installed the Windows 7 uh, operating system on there. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and open up Parallels. To proceed, we're going to click here on the Start and it's pretty much will open up parallels and load up the operating system. We're using a Windows 7 Ultimate in this uh, demonstration, but um, any version of Windows should work um, as long as you could virtualize it. Um, to continue, some of the some basic settings need to be taken place here. Um, one of those things that I like to do is uh, is to set the network IP to match my LAN IP. Um, in this case, if we look under the control panel, network and sharing center, change adapter settings, we'll notice that the IP range is matching my LAN IP, which is 192.168.0.16, and in this case is just being passed down from my DHCP. Um, Parallels has the option of sharing the IP or bridging it. When you bridge it, you're basically um, allowing your network to see your LAN IP range versus the IP private range that is provided through Parallels. Um, to show you this, um, if you go under Devices, if you go under Network, you notice here I've got my settings under Default Adapter Bridged. Um, by default it actually uses what's called a shared network. And if we select this, what it's going to do is it's going to use a private IP range of 10.x.x.x. In this case, it's 10.211.55.6. And what we noticed is that when we're using these types of ranges, it's sort of like natting, where you hide the private IPs from the public IPs. Um, and EagleSoft tends to lag on that. So to, to, to make it so that it's easier to work with and uh, the least amount of issues is to have a shared uh, switch out from the shared uh, mode into the bridge mode and to do that um, we go into devices network bridged and and here you want to just select the default adapter and once you've done that it's going to go ahead and pick up hopefully an, a DHCP address in this case mine is on the 192.168.0 uh, subnet the second thing you need to do is set the resolution to match EagleSoft's requirement. Uh, the bare minimum with EagleSoft is uh, 1024 by 768 and to do that we have to right click on the desktop, go to screen resolution and uh, from this drop down list here select 1024 by 768 and you'll notice that that's the recommended setting in this case. Um, so once we've done that, we can go ahead and proceed with the installation of EagleSoft. Um, usually EagleSoft's media is on a CD, um, and to install it, you would go to Devices, go to CD, D DVD, and then select your default mode here. Um, in this case, I don't have a DVD uh, on my uh, Mac, so what I did was I copied the uh, binaries onto a folder, and placed it on my desktop in Windows 7 virtual machine. Um, but it's the same thing from the CD you should be able to pick it up and once you do that you want to browse and open up the ESS setup uh, application and you'll be presented with a uh, installation uh, dialog box and it gives you all these options here. Um, the first one is the one that you want to click on, so go ahead and click on Install EagleSoft. You should see this dialog box pop up. Now, for some reason, if you don't see this dialog box pop up, it's very possible that it's hiding behind this big screen here. So one of the things you could do is just close out the screen by clicking Exit here. And shortly, you should see the um, installation dialog box um, prompt you to follow through the installation here. So. Uh, and there it is. So go ahead and click on next here. We want to go ahead and accept the terms and license agreement. 
you're going to be presented with the uh, serial number that you need to enter, so you should have a copy of that. Go ahead and enter that in. Once you've uh, clicked Next, um, you'll be presented with the options to install this as a workstation only, a server only, a server and workstation. Since this is being installed in a uh, Windows 7 uh, workstation, so we're going to just go ahead and select the default workstation only and click Next here. Uh, the next screen is asking you where you want to install the default location for the files. Um, so in this case, the default is C backslash Eaglesoft. So go ahead and click on Next for that. And then go ahead and proceed with the uh, Next again and Install. The installation will take usually three to five minutes. Once it's done installing, it's going to ask you to reboot it. So let's just give that some time for it to install. Once the installation is complete, you'll be presented with the last dialog box where you have to click on the uh, finish button. And in this case, you're going to have to go ahead and uh, reboot the uh, virtual machine. Upon rebooting it, you should see this dialog box come up where it says it's finishing Patterson Eaglesoft installation. This may take another minute or two. Once Windows is uh, back up at the desktop, you should see this little uh, icon here. It's the Eaglesoft Internet Connection object. This kind of tells you that the um, operating system is uh, completely loaded. You may see a few more icons here that are uh, loading if you've installed third-party applications. But essentially this is the icon here that you would uh, open up to launch Eaglesoft. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, proceed with that. We'll just double click on here. And it's going to load all of the uh, tools and you should notice that this dialog box comes up and our username is in here. Now that we've logged in, you should be able to see the main screen. We've got our uh, on schedule here for taking down appointments. Um, and that's pretty much it for virtualization. And one other thing that users like to see is to be able to use the actual application uh, side by side with Mac OS X. And to do that, we have to go under View and enter coherence and when you do that what it does is that it hides this interface up here where it shows the um, uh, full screen and the actual dialog box that's just the big dialog box here so to do that we basically go under view enter coherence and you'll see it shift starting coherence mode and you should automatically see Eaglesoft appear and there it is It actually acts like a Windows application on your desktop. I hope that this demonstration has shown you how you can install and use Eaglesoft side-by-side -side with Mac OS X and Windows uh, 7.